Hi guys, Sunday the 28th of August, just out for an overnighter. Tonight we're going to uh, camp on Queensbury, but at this present moment we're at High Church Cairn, the first wee top on our way up to the summit of Queensbury. We said we would return to this area when we done uh, Burley Wag Bothy in the winter. Very humid, slight breeze, it's about 17 and a half degrees. But yeah, we've just walked in around and up here to uh, this little summit cairn, High Church Cairn. We're in the Southern Lowthers and we're looking over the Forest of A, which must have the shortest place name in the UK, because I don't know of any others. There is a little village called A Village as well, so I would presume that is the shortest place name in the UK. A E. -E. Aye. So yeah, there we have. Today's objectives, we Queensbury, and then on to the summit of the bigger one, which is Queensbury. Burley Wag Bothy is in the second valley across, well up to the head of the, uh, the valley there. Here we are. Approaching the trick point on Wee Queensbury at a height of 512 metres, and the views are really starting to open up now. The cloud is starting to lift a wee bit. Yeah, so this is the trick point. And we Queensbury. And that's our destination, the summit of Queensbury. I've been across some rough ground in my time, but that's up there, certainly is. But yeah. This is the third summit of the day. Wow, what a lovely summit. With a cairn shelter. Right guys, I'll just drop this bag and we will hit the summit. Yeah, there we are looking towards the reservoir. And just below us, I bet if we went over to that edge we might be able to see the bothy. Maybe not, but we'll have a look later. But yeah, that's us on the summit, guys. Oh, I can't believe them wind farms. Shocking. We've been blessed though because down over New Galloway, there it's rained for at least two or three hours on our way up here. We set off, yeah, that's three hours to get up here, and that clag's been hanging over them fells over there. And you can see 
where it's raining at now but the wind is an easterly or a breeze, the breeze should I say a small posse of sheep there all headbutting each other it's getting towards tupping time We've seen all the tups in the field at the bottom there big fine fellas getting ready for action when the bracken's brown and it's starting to go brown that's generally a good indicator of tupping time Indeed. And way in the distance there, we can make our broad law with the the masts and aerials on it, and then to the left of it, green lowther. And below that will be the village of One Lock Head to the left of it. That's us set up. 4 pm. We don't imagine that anybody else will be up here at this time of night, although on the opposite side of the valley we can see a row of shooting butts, and there's quite a bit of uh, <laughs> gunshot coming from that direction because it is the grouse season, of course. Yeah, we're in the stiker tonight. We thought we'd be bold and go for the redden. Something different. We've just been using our uh, Actos recently. So we've decided to bring the stiker out, give it an air in. But the midge is with us. Quite good ground for pitching on. Spot on. Just got a brew on, Diane's getting a brew going. We're in a place where we've got good views all around. When we uh, did an overnight at in Burley Wag, we did say that we would come back and visit Queensbury because it was a hill that we hadn't done. And we've been blessed with a, not the best of visibility, but we can definitely see hills in the distance. Very impressive summit cairn. Ready for a coffee like. Huge cairn and the uh, backside here there's a couple of little wind shelters that have been created as well so that's very nice. Just out for a wee explore now before we have our tea. The wind has turned around completely. We had a, uh, an easterly breeze when we arrived, and uh, it's now a northwesterly. But the area is absolutely stunning.
so remote we can hear um, people shooting from afar but uh, there's a series of grouse posts up that ridge there and uh, we're unsure if they're in any of them but it is the, uh, the grouse shooting season so that's something to take into account when you're heading off into the hills I suppose because uh, you don't want to walk through the firing line of a load of guns That's us just setting our sleep systems up. We've uh, watched some great cloud formations coming through. Really amazing. The sun is trying to break through, but it just isn't having enough uh, success. But we can't grumble today. We've had a, a mixed bag of everything. We've had a little bit of drizzle. We've had warm sunshine on our ascent and uh, these stunning skies and clouds this evening. All through New Galloway this, this afternoon was you could just see rain and now it's left like a real misty low cloud. Very atmospheric, very the wind keeps changing direction. We had a northwesterly and it's coming more from the north at the moment and it's quite cool. On our ascent it was an easterly and the uh, the wind turbines had a good uh, <laughs> sign of which way the wind's coming from. Yeah, we're just going to have a little wander about, check things out. But these hills are so remote, the likelihood of ever meeting anybody up here is slim, to say the least. Morning guys, that's our overnight on Queensbury come to an end and the clags come in. It keeps blowing in and out, we're just under the cloud base. 
But yeah, cracking overnight there, just here off the cairn. Off the summit cairn, this is where we were last night. Just flat grass. What we didn't know was there's a big rock there. Which was just on the outskirts of the tent, but never mind. But yeah, that's where we were at last night, no trace. But we're all packed up and ready for off. Beautiful place. And we did get a clear sky last night. The Milky Way was absolutely beautiful. But we just don't have the uh, equipment to capture the night shots, really, as good as uh, they can be captured. But we're going to head out and we think we're going to go to the Bothy, aren't we? Yep. So we're going to head towards Burley Wag Bothy and uh, we'll probably have a cup of tea there and then we'll have the long walk out. Out into the cloud. There's the Brook Inspector, guys. <laughs> Not the best I've had, but still nice to have. And there's the Dreek blown out. The eyes are running with the bloody. The eyes are running with watching, <laughs> watching for a brock inspector. But yeah, we're not down this gill. No, path. no paths at all, as you probably mentioned earlier. But we're heading down to Burley Wag Bothy. Off piece, which is usual with us. choice of direction has brought us straight to the Bothy. It's just down there in the valley floor. Wonderful valley with a winding beck right down the middle of it. We've just come from up on the top there, we dropped about 300 metres. Just hear ravens on the wing, croaking away. The bothy door's closed so it doesn't look like there's anybody stayed there last night. But if the bothy's full, that bothy's got loads of level ground around it for tents. Here we are in the Bothy, having a coffee. The guys are in the process of re-roofing. But everything's very nice and tidy. Plenty of chairs for seating. And that's the, uh, the sleeping area in there, decked out. We've only stayed here once. I like to stay here again sometime. 
lovely little place. Just nice to have a little break coming down from the hill. Well, the lawnmowers are hard at work, keeping that grass trimmed. Yeah, the guys are in the process of re-roofing. They've got it sacked and felted. With the lats on. It's looking good. All the slates are nicely stacked around the perimeter here. But uh, the last time we were here we didn't get views anything like this. It's a beautiful place. That's Ghana Hill. Yeah. Nice breeze keeping the midget bay. Because as soon as that uh, wind drops, boy, do they come out. Bloody eating alive. And that's the direction we came down. We came down from that up and over the summit there. Yeah, lovely little place to have a refreshment stop. And if the both is full, well, you've, of course, you've got all this for camping. Can't go wrong, really. What a place to live. If them lottery numbers come up, I know where I'm going. Just like to sign off from this ratch by saying a big thank you to all our subscribers and people who leave comments. Really enjoyed this one, plenty to see, lovely views. And until next time, we'll catch you on the next one.